Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're gonna give you a C program and we're gonna ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then we're gonna explain the output. So all you need to do is pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then come up with the output of this program. Once you have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run this program and explain the output. Alright, now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. Uh, I'm gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And the answer for this program is gonna be A. So why the heck we're gonna get the answer as A? Here in this program, we have created a character array called P and we have stored percentage and D in it. So the P array's contents are gonna look something like this. So here you guys can see, you know, the array index is going to start from zero. And that's why in the first element, you know, the percentage symbol will be stored. And then the second element D will be stored. And then since we are initializing this string with the double quotes, you know, the string termination character will be added automatically. And that termination character will be stored in the end. So we're going to get this string termination character as the last element of this array P. And then what we are doing is we are changing the second element of the array P. So the second element will be present at the index one. You know, the array index start from zero. That's why second element will be at the index one. And we are changing that with the character C. So after this change or after this modification, our array is going to look something like this. Here you guys can see the first element will be as it is. The second element will be chained, you know, instead of D. Now this will contain C. And then again, we're going to have this string termination character as the last element. Now here we are using this printf function and we are passing this string as the format specifier. You know, the string which will be stored in this character array P will contain the format specifier. And then we are passing a value of 65. So this printf statement is going to be exactly equal to this printf statement. So here you guys can see we have this percentage C format specifier and then we are passing a value of 65. Since we have this percentage C format specifier, you know, which is used for characters, you know, the 65 is going to refer to the ASCII value of the character A. And that's why it's going to print out the character A as the output. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my website learninglad.com for more video tutorials and I'll see you in the next tutorial.